Yes, General. I feel a sense of peace. It was difficult, but I guess I've come to understand something about myself. It's nothing, just something that opened my eyes. Ask me about it some other time. Was there something you wanted me for? Query, is there someone that you need killed, Master? Statement? Master, assassination is my primary function. It is only expected that when you speak to me, it is to give me the order to kill. Statement? Oh, very well, Master. No doubt you are bothering me because you wish to interrogate me with harmless, non-lethal questions. Or perhaps you need the deck of your freighter scrubbed, or an exciting alien text translated. My circuits are abuzz with anticipation of what your next task will be for me that does not involve ending the life of an organic meat bag that deserves death. There is nothing for us to discuss. Leave me alone. Yes? Have you come with questions? Yeah, what do you want? Something up?
Has there been any word of her? None yet. I do not understand why she displays such disobedience. You know why. She bears the face of her mother. She shames us all. She has always brought shame upon us. In terms of combat, she is the least among us. Her stance always had too much passion about it. Perhaps it is better that our sister chose exile rather than having it forced upon her. You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. For your own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari, quickly finish your business in Kunda, and go. I will answer your questions. She was the Agricultural Administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attack, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here are mercenaries. We had problems with Mandalorian mercenaries even before the Jedi Civil War. The Jedi helped clear most of the problem up, but after the war, many soldiers from both sides of the conflict became mercenaries. And since we're so far from the core, some started gathering here. The difference between an out-of-work mercenary and a raider is a vibroblade's edge. The only thing we can prove they've done is intimidate a few farmers. The farmers give them goods, money, or food just to stay on their good side. The only one that isn't scared of them is the Administrator. There have also been a lot of disappearances recently, and not all of them can be blamed on calf hounds. But nobody can prove the mercenaries are responsible. A farmer here and there, or a family. We lost enough people during the war that keeping the calf hound and Kinrath populations under control hasn't been possible. So there are a lot of animal attacks. Some deaths, too. The disappearances might be just coincidence, but a lot of the stubborn folks seem to be more accident-prone. Kunda is the big building just outside the landing port. It used to be the estate of a man named Matali, but he and his family disappeared around the time of the bombardment. The administrator rebuilt it, and now this is our center of government. I know it doesn't look like much, but there aren't many settlers that live on this planet. This building is the start of something new for us. We're very proud of it. Just head into the building, and you'll find your way to the administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else. A Jedi. I've got to tell the others. Ah, leave me be. Jedi. Greetings, Ankote Traveler. On behalf of the Kunda Settlement, I am programmed to welcome you to Tatooine. Is there something I can do to serve you? Dantooine is a rural world, far removed from most galactic trade routes. Historically, agriculture has been Dantooine's primary industry. Since the destruction of the Jedi Enclave, salvage of the ruins has become a key area of growth for the local community. The famed ruins of the Jedi Enclave can be found northwest of the Kunda outpost. You may visit the ruins at your own risk. Xeron strongly urges salvagers to avoid the highly dangerous sublevel of the Enclave Ruins. 
My apologies. I have no recollection of the Sith invasion topic. Error. Memory overflow. Resetting. May I be of any further service to you? Processing. Exterior damage analysis. Level 7 impairment. Multiple casing breaches detected. Bipedal servos resolved by 32 degrees. Memory storage overflow. Memory unit is approximately 56 months overdue for maintenance. Error. Memory overflow. Resetting. May I be of any further service to you? Dantooine is a since the destruction. Kunda's salvage industry is a main source of income for the local community. At their own risk, salvagers may remove relics from designated salvage areas within the ruins. The fee to remove a relic from Dantooine is proportionate to the appraised value of the item. For more details, speak to Administrator Terena Adare at the Kunda Outpost. May I be of any further service to you? The local militia occasionally offers employment to qualified soldiers. Speak to Zeron in the Kunda outpost. Additionally, many visitors come to Kunda to explore the ruins for salvage opportunities. May I be of any further service to you? The main area of interest for visitors is the Kunda outpost. There you will find the local officials who preside over the Dantooine colony. Administrator Terena Adare and militia leader Zeron. Zeron strongly urges salvagers to avoid the highly dangerous sublevel of the Enclave ruins. If you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds.
I hear you. Let me take care of this. Things. Let me take care of this.
kära Nana Gundos och Remina och Kjellorak och Guru Kattada. Fjärre tåren på den och ringa till kamerada till Fibu och Nubo Debiterana och känner rara. Man har varit trött och sover bara rakt och drunt. Kriget är min tro grej bara någon flank och tror att jag inte. Grava vi nu och kul sitta på tvete. Där vi står så på tutu ner liv kring patata. Där vi står på tutu ner liv kring patata. Till en runda Nana din tål och gräda tira. Till en vana djung och nata delar av Guru Tuna. Dai rinto ron ka ore kare papa nala ron shinka. Dai rache wa minu toto ore re sen sen. Dai rinto ron to wakare ko e wap gare bu. Nin so telepachan ko sadara nane grae kara da no nota chodore. Dai rinto ron to wakare ko e wap atara tan an shinka radana. Fera ron pada no to bring tada nel kemara chala fi bonu bodot. Dosane kara mala du rin sedara ran mel rebe be chin chin kranak tada. Dai rinto ron to wakare ko e wap gare bu. Nin so telepachan ko sadara nane grae kara da no nota chodore. Tere wana jung konata dela raguno tuna dai rinto ron ka ore kare papa nala ron shinka de rache wa mino to to ore re sen 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 de rinto ron to wakare ko e wap gare bu nin so tele pachan ko sadara nane gra gra da no nota cholore de rinto ron to wakare ko e wap atara tan an chinga radana fera ron pada no de bring tada nel kemara chala fi por no bodot do sene kara mala du rin sedara ran mel rebe be chin chin kranak tada Dear Rinto Runto Walker Ray Quay Wap Garebu, Ninso Telepachan Gorsadara Nane, Grae Gra, Dalunuta Cholorin, Terewana Jun Conata de la Raguna Tuna, Dai Rinto Runka Recare Papanala Ranchinka, De Rache Women Oto Torre Seni Sentin. Dear Rinto Runto Walker Ray Quay Wap Garebu, Ninso Telepachan Gorsadara Nane, Grae Gra, Dalunuta Cholorin, Dear Rinto Runto Walker Ray Quay Wapa Terratan and Chinga Radana, Ferra Rampada no the Bring Tada and Elkemara Chella Fibor Nubodot. Dosane kara mala du rin sedara ran mel rebe be chin chin kranak tada. Der rin tu rin tu wa kare ko e wap gare bu. Nin so tele pachan ko sadara nane gra gra da no nota cholorin. Tere wana jun konata de la raguno tuna. Dai rin tu rin ko re kare papa nala ran shinka. De rache wa mino to to re re sen sen sen. Re libe kurondo so mele grim grim ko ko re gim basa. Re chu kan tada so ko on chere non grum grum. Det är rätt att jag menar bingar och rukar tåtor under chuchor och remanenser. Det är inte runt och vackra i kvar och vackra i bo. Nej så telepatchen går så där att nej gräv och gräv där du nu tar chollorin. You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. For your own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari, quickly finish your business in Kunda, and go. I will answer your questions. She was the Agricultural Administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attacked, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here would be mercenaries. I think Tarn has finally cracked. Running around like a madman, raving that he was being chased by a Jedi. Oh, Tarn is an idiot, to be sure. But he seemed genuinely frightened. And perhaps he did see something. Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? After all they've done to us? They wouldn't dare. They certainly would. You remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant. And never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend, he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. 
He swears he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding anywhere. Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. Welcome to Kunda. You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Her office is directly behind this room. You really can't miss it. She can see you now, if you like. You're not. The only heavily armed people that visit us are either salvages or mercenaries. And you don't look quite gritty enough to be a mercenary. The things that would most interest you are our weapon merchant, Anzeron, the leader of our militia. Akere is still around here somewhere, too. He sells droid components. We hope it will become the new center of government for the settlers. The administrator has been trying to organize us in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. We're a small group of settlers on the edge of Republic space. The building isn't large, but it's only the beginning. Salvages keep coming here and bothering the militia. That Garabic is the worst of them. Your luck is not of the hapless settler. You are the newcomer that lands in a battered ship. Yes. No friendly greetings are here for you. I come here to speak to the militia and make them understand a truth. Something of mine they have in their possession. It's very unwise to stand in my way. I am done being inconvenienced by you. What brings you to Kunda? Do you have any troubles to report? I'm here to help. I just hope you aren't here by Garabek. You haven't? Well, that's something. I'm the second in command over here, and we keep getting incidents. Our staff is stretched thin. Too thin. If you do have trouble, I'm not the one to talk to. You need to talk to Zeron. He takes a hands-on role as the militia captain. Uh, this is... Sensitive. It's not really a secret, though. A lot of people are upset with Zeron. He's a hard man and doesn't answer to anybody. Except, I suppose, the administrator. The thing is, he expects everyone to follow all the laws. That's not normally a bad thing. But the mercenaries are used to having a bit more freedom. So, it's like Zeron keeps prodding a ranker with a stun stick. To a ranker, it's just a minor nuisance. But if you keep at it, he's gonna fight back. The mercenaries aren't unreasonable. They're mostly just war veterans looking for work. But Zeron just keeps poking them. So he has to get involved to make sure that the militia does what he wants. Otherwise, we'd probably give the mercenaries some room. It's tricky. You see, I think Zeron may be taking this whole thing a little personal. I I'm not sure, just a guess. I also think he's doing more to provoke them than just investigating every complaint against them hard. He's up to something. If someone could just ask a few questions, turn up some answers, maybe see if Zeron isn't being completely honest with the rest of us, well, then maybe he should be replaced. Just a lot of little things don't add up. It could just be a surprise party, but I think Zeron takes this problem very personal. So if you happen to find something out like that, you should see Administrator Adare. If you have to do some footwork to check into things, you'll be compensated. We should probably talk about something else. I hate going behind the captain's back. I just feel... Uh, I just have a feeling about it. I don't even want to get into it. Ask around if you want to know the details. It'll just make my headache worse if I talk about it. I don't know what we'd do without Administrator Adare. She managed to plow through a lot of the family bickering once the Sith left during the war. She's kept us together. Oh, and, uh, Zeron, too, I suppose. Uh, this is... sensitive. It's not really a secret, though. A lot of people are upset with Zeron. 
He's a hard man and doesn't answer to anybody. Except, I suppose, the administrator. The thing is, he exp So, it's like Zero and the mercenaries aren't- So, he has to get involved. Dantooine has had mercenaries on it for years. I talked with some, and... It's tricky. You see, I think Zero... I also think he's doing... If someone could... I don't want to be made captain that way. But if my hunch is right, he's just about the worst person to leave in charge. So if you happen to find something out like that, you should see administrator. We should probably talk about... All right. Stay out of trouble now. A visitor. Please, come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adari. You're the owner of the ship? Just not Depending on your business here, the pleasure may be mutual. But you didn't answer my question. Is that ship yours? And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. That is an unfortunate truth. And a wise request, which of course, I will honor. Most settlers here hold bitter memories of the Sith occupation. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. My friend, let's just call him Frock. We've known each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did she send for you in case something went wrong? Vrook and I had a mutually beneficial arrangement for several weeks. He went to the Jedi Enclave sublevel recently and hasn't returned. I know the sublevel is dangerous. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? fortunate that you've come. Don't expect it to be easy, though. Things rarely are with Jedi. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave's security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Like many parts of Dantooine, the sub-level of the Enclave has become infested with dangerous creatures. Large, vicious insects called Lagrex have made the sub-level their home. Several salvagers have reportedly been injured or killed by the Lagrex. I would expect a Jedi to fare better against the creatures than the salvagers. But Vrok has not returned in some time. Is there anything else I can assist you with? I have no doubt that Baroon means well, but I have every confidence in Zaron. I would ask you to ignore anything Baroon asked of you. He doesn't see the full scope. I realize that I'm asking you for help, but you must also know that I am the head of this nominal government. It wouldn't be appropriate for me to divulge all information to you. To most people in the galaxy, the distinction between Sith and Jedi is a blurry one, especially since most Sith were once Jedi. It is complicated by the fact that Malak and Revan were great heroes of the Republic and famed Jedi Knights. But a few years later, they were leading an armada, which threatened everyone. And here on Dantooine, the Jedi Enclave provoked a brutal occupation by the Sith. It could have been far worse, but even now the damage has not been fully mended. I don't think everyone hates Jedi. If just a few people changed their minds or spoke up, it could make a great deal of difference. I think that we need the help of the Jedi. If the Jedi's reputation isn't redeemed, the consequences could be quite regrettable. 
Until then, I would keep your identity secret. There are plenty of opportunities to assist people on Dantooine. Too many, I'm afraid. I would go to the militia headquarters and make your intentions known there. Besides that, just listen and ask around. Who do you want to know about? There are three groups of people on the planet right now. The settlers, salvagers, and the mercenaries. Dantooine is one of the younger worlds of the Republic. A couple of generations ago, this world was still untamed. We made great progress, in no small part due to the Jedi. But recently, we have been losing ground. During the war, the most prominent settler families either fled or were executed by the Sith. Losing their resources and the Jedi was too great a loss. But now we are organizing and starting to truly work together. Once we achieve that, I am confident that Dantooine can be safe and prosperous again. No, I suppose I'm not. We need the Republic and always have. We aren't self-sufficient yet and we need aid. The fate of the Telos project is intimately tied to our own. The most humanitarian elements of the Senate have put their careers at stake in the rebuilding of Telos. If those efforts succeed, their prominence will grow and further aid will be given freely. But if they fail, there are colder, more authoritative elements in the Senate that could come to power. They would think nothing of leaving the strategically unimportant worlds to their own devices. That would be a tragic day for Dantooine and many other worlds. The Republic is in flux. Its final shape is uncertain. They are a necessary inconvenience. Money has been a great concern to us ever since the Sandrals and Matales were removed during the Jedi Civil War. The agricultural exports we produce just cover basic maintenance. To expand and prosper, we needed credits. So we had to exploit a valuable resource we had, the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. It was not a decision lightly made. And even then, we couldn't do the work ourselves. Too dangerous. And every settler matters on our small world. So we opened the door to enterprising salvages. The salvages you see now are the last remnants of that force. The tithe we took from their claims sustains what semblance of government you see now. We plan on using those credits to improve production and protect our world. We have enough to sustain ourselves until more prosperous times. We tolerate our presence because we must, and they generally follow our laws. But their time is almost over. The Jedi Enclave's sublevel is the only place left with reasonable salvage, and it has too many dangers for them. The salvages aren't warriors. Generally, they are out-of-work miners or cast-offs from other worlds. Mercenaries have been a problem for Dantooine since the end of the Mandalorian Wars. When the Jedi Enclave was here, they were firmly kept in check. But now, relations are uneasy between us. Their leader, Azkul, was a Sith trooper during the war, and I have no doubt he was very good at his job. Until they find work, tensions will grow. If you want to know more, I suggest you talk with Baroon in the militia headquarters. He would have more details. Certainly. Are you waiting for the administrator too? You won't have to wait too long. But if you want results, now that you may never get here. Kunda's like a droid without his power cell. Useless. We have problems all over, and the most you can get out of the administrator is a pat in the back. I'm sick of all their excuses and empty words. I need justice now. I fought in the war, and I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator or Zeron doesn't do something, then I will. Salvagers are the problem. They strip bare the ruins that belong to the people of Dantooine. Then, they sell what they find back to us, at inflated prices. I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. I sincerely hoped I could just hang my blaster rifle on the wall as a souvenir for my grandchildren. But I can't farm without my equipment. Well, yes and no. I brought my moisture vaporator to Kunda to be serviced. 
On the way back to my farm, I took a shortcut next to the Enclave ruins. Damn Lagrix came out of nowhere. I had to run before they made a meal of me. When I returned to retrieve my equipment, the salvagers had already stripped it bare. I went to their camp to get back my moisture vaporator. This smug fellow Joran told me that he found it within the ruins, and by law, it belongs to him now. He said he'd give it to me for the bargain price of 500 credits. I wasn't very happy about it, but the law was on his side. So I paid this scoundrel. Now the moisture vaporator doesn't work, because it is mysteriously missing its modulator. Joran is offering to sell me a modulator he found for another 500 credits. I suppose you could. Actually, you almost look like a salvager. If you could go to this salvager camp and convince the salvager Joran to return my modulator, I would be very grateful. I'm not rich, but I have some souvenirs from the war I could give you. It's right next to the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Just follow the smell. You can't miss them. That's great. I'm certainly not getting any help around here. If you need to know anything more, just ask me. A lot of people here hate Jedi. But when they were here, they tried helping us. I don't blame them. Now, G. Kachi, a Ubang Tab, 